Here's a new invention, or at least it's new for me. I call this the quantum magnet, for lack of a better name. Actually, it's a, it's a, a dual action set of magnets where you get attraction and repulsion simultaneously. They're ring magnets with some little neo slabs, and there's pieces inside there. And here's here's what I started with. This is just a pop that out of there. Just a little disc. It's a ring magnet. These things I've had for probably 35 years. They're really old. They're about as weak today as they were back then. It's amazing that they're that they've got any magnetism left in them all, but but they feel like they're about as strong as they were 35 years ago. So uh, that just gives you an idea how long these neos last. I bet a good thick neo will last you for a thousand years. But anyway, so these little discs are so thin. You can see it's just really really thin, and it just fits on on top there, makes it nice and flush. But I've got some others that aren't fitting flush. These are a little bit larger diameter. If you see side by side. And uh, anyway, it's not it's not the hinge that's keeping this. You see, these hinges we can close all the way. So it's not that. It is definitely the repulsion. And it's about um, a little over a sixteenth of an inch of a gap when they come together. And it's pretty strong on the attraction. I don't like them to slam together, but that's because I didn't use Neos. I got these old ceramics plus the Neo. Uh, combination of, of both neodymium magnets for the center piece and the ring would probably have a much stronger attraction and a much stronger repulsion combined. But uh, but it's very interesting if you if you check the poles. See here on the back, I've just got a another piece of of ceramic that fills the hole. It's, the magnets are about a uh, quarter of an inch thick. So if, if you check the poles on the back side, you've got north pole all the way across. Center's north, rings north. Opposite of that, flip it over, we've got south pole. The whole thing's south. So inside here, check that. And you can see that it's all south. Center is south, the ring is south. Flip it around to the side that comes together with it. And it's showing north. Get this to where you can see it. It's showing north across until you get to the very center. And then it's dead. It's a dead zone. See? very center. There's no field. It's not north. No pole, I mean. It's not north or south. So, how this works is that inside inside these ring magnets I have both the little disc on both sides of these, as you can see. These are a little bit larger. But I've taken pieces, little broken pieces, and I've put them together in strange configurations and filled them inside the hole. And it screws up the magnetic flux, changes the, the view of the field. So let's take a look and see what this looks like. Now here's the here's the back side of the closed unit and that's all solid that means where you see the the dark solid is the magnetic flux is running perpendicular to the film so coming straight at you and of course there's a couple of imperfections in this magnet which is interesting to see there's one right here you see where the lines are running parallel and out here on this corner or this corner this outer edge here it's running parallel like a chunk so that one's a little goofy on the other side, look at this. This is real. Let me get this where the light can. There we go. See? See in the center? See those halos that kind of run around there where the, 
the flux lines are running parallel and yet there's dark inside this one here. Let me see if I can do it this way. See where the this outer one here is running parallel and this is running perpendicular and then this is all mixed up in here because of those chunks and yet you've got the power of that little neodymium disc. Okay, inside let me clear this film just drag it apart. If you, if you take a magnet like this and you, and you drag the film across it, it clears it. Otherwise there's like a little memory effect in the magnetic viewing film. So it keeps that image there for a while. So on this one, on the inside, now this one's real interesting. Let me get this, let me turn it around here so the, the glare doesn't mess it up too bad. There, you can see that. Let's look at this, this is real strange. It's, it's dark all around here, so you get perpendicular lines of flux, and then in here, you've got this real strange shape. You've got a little piece that runs up through here where the flux is parallel, and then you've got a, a combination here, and it's throwing it out into this area here a lot more on this side than it is on this side here. So that's because if you take a piece of magnet, it's a broken piece of magnet like this, put the film over it, I mean, look at the shape. Look at the shape of that. It's parallel to the film here and down here, and where it's perpendicular, I mean, I'm sorry, it's perpendicular to the film here where it's dark, and where it's light, it's parallel to the film, the magnetic lines of flux. But look, they're not in a straight line. They're going off on an angle because this piece is it's kind of a triangular point. It's the corner of a magnet. I don't know if you can see that very well but uh, it's just a little chunk. So you put those little chunks like that inside these and, uh, and again it, it, it screws up the, the uh, magnetic field, throws it off in different directions and that seems to be what allows this to so easily repel and yet come together. And look at that. <laughs> It's pretty amazing, really. And it's just a simple little thing, but it definitely holds it apart. It does not want to stay together. I'm not not doing any tricky thing with my fingers either. I mean, this is actually working, just like you see. You can do it too. That's how you do it. Just take these little chunks, mix them up, super glue them together if you have to. Put a put them on top of each other uh, so that they repel each other and super glue them together, whatever. Anything you can do to screw up the magnetic field in the core of these ring magnets. And then cap them off, clean them up nice with a little disc here. These things are weak. I mean, they're just really, really thin. And uh, and you can see I've got, I've got a smaller diameter on one end than I do on the other end. See, this diameter is just a little bit bigger. Maybe, um, oh, I don't know, sixteenth of an inch or maybe an eighth of an inch larger in diameter than, than this one on this end. But, uh, but that's not really why this works because without those pieces inside it, it didn't do this. And so the pieces inside allowed it to do this by screwing up that magnetic field and getting that asymmetrical shape so that they'll both attract and, and repel simultaneously. There you have it. The quantum magnet. See you next time.